Yo, what is up, you champions? This your boy Ronnie here, back at it again with another video. And uh, today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to um, one of my one of my teammates. Uh, he goes to my gym, Capital MMA and Elite Fitness. Um, his name is Victor. Um, he's a really good guy. He's 55 years old, and uh, this is his first MMA fight, kind of. Um, it was a MMA slash, you know, wrestling fight, so um, let's get into the video. <clears throat> so before the fight, we just, uh, his coach made me warm up with him. Um, here's the venue, here's where we were, where he was fighting at. Um, there's all the competitors. Uh, but before the match, we were just warming up, doing takedown drills, doing uh, different types of like cardio drills and stuff like that, just to get his you know heart racing, um, get him a little bit of a sweat before the fight. Uh, this is his coach. His name is uh, Micah Terrell, and he's a uh, right now he's in the Bell he's in Bellator. He's fighting in Bellator, and he was also a Shogun champ. Uh, welterweight, I think, and he's a really good guy. Uh, he was Victor's coach. We end up uh, cor cornering him for the fight. Um, here are some of the matches that took place before Victor's match. Um, so, for these matches, you could like pin people, submit people. Um, you could, uh, you couldn't really knock someone out. Um, and there was also three rounds, so if you won run one round by submission, you would still keep going on to a second round. So there was, there was, you were always going to have three rounds. Right here, uh, the coach wanted me to warm up with Victor a little bit more. He's shadow boxing here, working on his technique, working on his movement. Right here, we did some pummeling drills. Um, where if I got my double underhooks, then I then I won, and if he got it, I lost. Um, right here was for me just head movement drills. We were trying to get his hands working, get him to uh, you know get used to the feeling of having your hands work. And for me, I was just helping him out. Um, right here, these were takedown drills. Uh, just, you know, do a certain strike into a takedown because if you get a takedown, you uh, you might win cause, since there's pins and submissions. So right here is the rules meeting right before the fight. They had a rules meeting. It was like a 12-page long, um, 12-page 12, 12 long worth of uh, rules. Um, here's my man. He's getting ready to fight. This is the guy we thought he was fighting. Uh, it ended up being not him. Um, you'll, you'll see in a sec who it is. Uh, just, gonna just getting ready for the fight. Doing more drills. Trying to get his heart racing before the fight. Try to just make sure he's all good. I, during warm ups, I thought he felt great. Um, I thought he felt better than uh, like ever, ever before. Um, right here, this is the fight that was uh, before Victor's match, and this was a crazy fight. This was like a street brawl. Um, it was just, they were just throwing hands. You could only uh, throw open hand strikes to the face, at least. Um, you could throw like uh, fists to the body, though, and you can also kick to the head. Um, but that was that ended up being a good fight. Uh, training a little bit more before the fight. He's working on his takedowns. We really, we, we were trying to get him to take down. That's that's what our main goal was to try to take down and clinch as much as possible. Um, and he he was doing good on me during the warm up. He was doing good on uh, just working on the clinch and the takedowns. Right here, this is right when he's about to fight. He goes out. Me and Micah end up coaching him. We're in his corner. Getting ready to fight. And the guy he ends up going against uh, should be right here.
right there. Yeah, that's that's who he ends up fighting. Um, at first, I thought he was a bit of a wrestler, um, just because he, the people he was hanging around with, they were all wrestlers or they looked like wrestlers, and the and when they fought, they wrestled a lot. So I just thought he, he was gonna go in there and wrestle the whole time, but he ended up uh, striking with him, which I wasn't surprised. Um, Victor going into this fight, going into the first round, he was working on leg kicks a lot. Um, he wasn't really moving his head. Um, but yeah, he was really trying to work that left, that leg right there. This is when he catches the kick, and he's using the wrong. He he was using the wrong leg to trip. You can use that leg, but it's uh, it's a lot more effective if you use your um, other leg to kick the inside and trip. Um, that's one mistake I saw from him. And right here, there's just a flurry of punches getting thrown at him. He didn't really move his head in any of those, but. He learned. He learned from that from the first round. So right here, they were both just trying to feel each other out, see what they were gonna do. As I said, oh, right here he gets a nice little takedown. And Victor, I was telling him try not to stay on your shoulders. And he was on his shoulders for a little bit right there, but not three seconds. Right here, I told him to build his base, try to get try to get to his knees and build the base. He ended up doing that. It's hard to build your build your base when you got someone that's you know twice as heavy as you on top of you. But he ended up doing a decent job. He he did a good job of getting up and tripoding up. I wanted him to tripod right on his head, but maybe he couldn't do that. The, his opponent he uh his opponent uh Tyler he ends up getting a little nice back take, but he lets him up right here. Victor tried to go for that shot. And that's the end of round one. Um, so him coming into the corner, one thing I told him is uh, about the kick. When you catch the kick, uh, try to trip with your uh, in the inside, so it's a lot more effective. And also, I told him uh, go for that overhand right to the left leg single because he usually ha he did have his. Uh, Left, left leg out in front. Um, so if you go for that right hand to the face and then to the uh, single leg. And then Micah told him, um, if you catch that leg, you can also just, you know, go forward, just ram right through him, and you might be able to get a, a takedown. But really, we were just telling him to try to take him down and because uh, that's, you would win the fight if you did that. Right here, good shots thrown by both both people. Um, so right here, uh, Victor just keeps circling out, um, right right where the ring or the cage would be, um, and what they would do, what the ref would do, is if you kept uh, circling out, it's a uh, stalling warning I guess and you would lose one point you get deducted a point and Victor always circled out a lot he was always on the edge of the map so that's one thing that I wanted him to change but, um, see right there he got hit with a nice little hook I kind of got him um, Victor doing really good on a striking though. That he tried to attempt a shot, but it didn't end up and it didn't end up happening. Um, right here, I, I kind of wanted him to throw some body shots, see what would happen. Uh, he he wasn't throwing very many shots. This is where he got the point deduction because um, he was circling out too much. Um, He wasn't throwing as many strikes as Tyler, uh, but here's where he started to clinch, and I wanted him to do more body work. And right here, he could have had a takedown, but he never went for it, and he never really did any body work. Um, he slammed up against the wall. He's coming back. 
tries to go for that takedown. Didn't happen. Tyler definitely hit a lot more shots in the second round. Uh, this is where his ear got a little cut and started bleeding open. He also got a cut on his eyebrow, and that also started bleeding. Nothing major. But right here, this is where uh, Victor was kind of hitting, slapping to the body, and um, I told him that you can close your fist when you uh, go to the body. Those were some nice knees. And then, yeah, just to end off the round, he slams him against the uh, wall, which I didn't even know was you were able to do that. Um, when he came into the corner at the end of the second round, Micah told him that he needs to get a takedown in order to win. Uh, I said, yeah, you, you should go for that right hand to a takedown. Or you should, when he rushes in, clinch him. Work that body because there's uh, uh, close fish strikes to the body and just make sure when he goes back, go for that single leg, because it's, it's always gonna be there when he's going back, when he's backing up, and you're just, you know, you're just uh, threatening that body. It'll, it'll be there, that single leg will be there. So going into the third round, that's what we told him. And he, that's, that's what we were looking for for him. Um, but we really wanted him to get that, takedown because if you get that takedown it's so it's so important to get that takedown I get out for the last third and final round nice little hook going into the fight he was going he was he was trying to go for that uh, overhand right to the single but he ended up switching stance now his uh, he's not going south ball anymore now he's going orthodox um, and here's here's where he started working the body. He started punching. He actually started uh, close fisting, which was nice. Tyler working Victor's leg, which you know, is always gonna hurt. Uh, Victor stopped going for the leg kicks after you know round one because we just wanted him to get that takedown. And this is where they clinch. Victor working the body. He's still you know. Uh, I was still, me and Micah were still yelling, uh, go for that single, single was right there. We just wanted him to get that takedown. Right there, that's where he gets the single leg. Tyler ends up going to guard. You can't get pinned in guard, um, just because you have to have control. And right here, Victor is showing control, that he has control of guard. And Tyler is trying not to get pinned. And this is when... Right there, boom, he gets the back. He gets the back. That's it, it's over. Victor wins. Awesome fight. It was a great fight. He won by a rear naked choke. He did everything. Everything that we said, pretty much. And he gave it his all in the third round. It was a great fight by Tyler, too. Tyler and Victor both did great. Um, I'm proud that he won, though. 55 year old man. You don't see going into a cage. You don't see that every day. Um, it's probably the first man I've ever seen him do that. But yeah, he did. He did exactly what he wanted him to. He stuck to the game plan too. He just he didn't break anything. He had a couple little scratches on his ear and his uh, <laughs> eyebrow, but they didn't end up being major, and it wasn't too big of a deal. Um, he could hear fine. He feels fine right now. Um, it was a great fight. After the fight, everybody was happy for him. Uh, they were like, you know, this guy is someone to look up to because, you know, there's people complaining when they're you know, like 30, saying that they can't do this anymore, and you got a 55-year-old man in there going to fight. And it's just great. It's awesome. Um, after the fight, everybody just was congratulating him. Um, Everybody wanted to take pictures with him. Everybody wanted to talk to him. Man. 
he right here he was asking me if I uh, if he looked good and if he like if uh, if I think he felt good and I I said yeah he looked great in that fight he looked awesome in the fight everybody was showing that man support that's when that's his opponent that's when they started to talk to each other they got a nice little picture together it was a good time good time both showing great sportsmanship but yeah that was a, that was a great fight I'm glad I went over there and it was on short notice we just went over there and watched my man Victor fight but that's it that's it for today's video um, as always stay champions never give up uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video peace